In the mining industry, very often you are mining in areas that don't have a lot of infrastructure. And so one of the first things that mining companies have to help with is the health care of their employees and the whole community around them. I think in terms of what I would tell people about Gold Corp is they're a company that cares and that sincerely cares. For them, the most important thing was about impact for people and trying to improve the community and the world more broadly. The mines have always played a role in Red Lake's development, right from day one. Perhaps the biggest impact, and maybe we'll have the greatest legacy, was when Gold Corp stepped up to the plate and funded our new medical clinic. Gold Corp has always supported the medical care in this community. Prior to this huge endeavor, we there was about eight of us working in a small office where we had nurses, secretaries, doctors, medical students, all working in this very tight fishbowl type office. Once we moved here, we had our own offices, our own exam rooms. We could see more people and do a better job caring for people. So now we have a fully integrated family health team with uh, four nurses, a social worker, a diabetic counselor, a dietitian. Uh, we have a very full round. The community really has really engaged with the family health team. They really enjoy the people and they really enjoy the fact that they have access to them. Having the new facility here has created more opportunity for more professionals to come. So it's not just a place to get your health care, it's a place to build a career, which in turn helps build families and makes the community stronger. I think for us it just uh, makes us really proud, proud of the community and proud of the work that Gold Corp does here. I know that Gold Corp gives support so many things in the community and everyone thinks of them first when they're looking for help with the project or support. The majority of the community here is employed by Gold Corp and you know when we do invest in the community we want to make sure that our, our neighbours, our community, our children are, are safe and, and are living in a proper environment here in Red Lake. The Red Lake Mine has been there, you know, for probably close to 100 years altogether, and it formed the heart of Gold Corp. And for a number of years before we sort of took Gold Corp over, that was their only mine. And it was legendary around the world. And so uh, Red Lake will always have a very special place in the heart of everyone at Gold Corp. Again, it's a mining town, and therefore we're the biggest employer in town, and so we have a lot of responsibilities there and health is, is a huge part of it. In terms of how Gold Corp support has really been a catalyst, the reality is, is that there's so much stigma towards people with addiction that there's even stigma towards giving towards causes that can support people with addiction. Basically, Gold Corp's gift smashed that. A $3 million donation to support our program, a total $5 million gift to support an ACT team with people struggling with addiction as well. Basically said like, look, this is a problem that's, that we're dealing with internationally. And certainly this is a problem in Vancouver. And that courageous step forward by Gold Corp totally changed the funding landscape. At St. Paul's Hospital, we see the full spectrum of people who are struggling with alcohol and other drug addiction, young people who are sort of experimenting with drugs and end up having challenges that bring them into hospital, through to very entrenched drug users who've been living on the street in the downtown east side or elsewhere for a long time. And through the support of Gold Corp, we now have the largest addiction medicine training program in North America. The people that were the trainees that benefited are now the teachers that are benefiting trainees into the future and also providing world-class care for individuals uh, with addiction. So the support from Gold Corp is absolutely transformative. These are the issues of our society and uh, we are here in downtown Vancouver and so it's just again one of the many causes that we try to help out because it's important and it makes the city a better place. In terms of the legacy and the long-term impact, I think the only thing that I'd really want to say is thanks and thanks from um, not just myself and the impact for the, the patients that I see, but uh, all the people that have been touched by this program, whether that's the trainees, the families of, of people who have been affected, um, and how this has really grown into something that I think will be transformative beyond our boundaries to, to Canada and internationally. Um, really, I think all I can say is thanks. The best part of the gift is that it's just going to make life easier for probably a couple of generations. I can see this building is going to last, it's going to keep people happy, keep people safe, keep the community healthy.